Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here, back with another game review. Today's game uh, that we're going to be playing for you is the Steam World Build demo. The demo is available on Steam right now. It is um, still in, I guess, kind of early access. There's no release date as of yet. I played a little bit of this game, and we're going to jump right into it. There is only a demo, so you're only you can only play a certain amount. But uh, whether you're on key mailer or you go to Steam itself, you can get um, the demo for free and play it. And it's a very fun kind of quirky robot game. The gist of it is, in SteamWorld Build, you must escape a dying planet by building a mining town to dig up vital long-lost technology. Meet the ever-growing needs of your citizens, trade resources, and defend your mind from the creatures that lurk below. That's where we'll live once we escape this world. There's so many. Which one? Whichever one you won't get over. <laughs> I love it. The robot bulls. Mm -mm. Why are you planning? That's scary. I am here to get you all to safety. It is the sole purpose of my existence. Lucky that Paul found you then. Sure is nice with someone looking out for us. Quite. How will you help us then? Allow me to explain. Long ago, a great horde of ancient technology was buried here. Technology that has the power to do what you need. Buried deep, deep below the earth. But as you see, I quite lack the ability to dig it up. Pa and I are really good at digging up things. <laughs> yes, you bots are excellent for manual labor. But do not think it will be an easy journey, my eager friend. Uh -oh. We have to go further down than you would ever think possible. And only once we reach the very bottom of the world, we will find your way to the stars. As we're looking for. Well, if it won't be easy, then I'll need the best second in command to make sure we get there. Who's that? You, of course. Oh. Wow. Does that mean I'm gonna be a hero like you? Heroes give people hope, yeah? You've always given me that, kiddo. Must mean you've always been one. <laughs> So that's a cute little intro to the game about the gist of it. Basically, as I described, you have to create this little mining town and then um, mine stuff and then escape. Alrighty, let's get right into it. Now, there is a bit of a tutorial-ish type thing um, to start with. This is our little town that we start on. You don't really get to well, choose. Stay focused in order to get to the old tech and escape this rock. You hear that? Something is making a noise. Probably just some old hinges on the mineshaft elevator that are creaking. You better. I'll be I'm going to click through these. You can, you can pause done. these if you like. I want to get on with the gameplay. So... Okay, like I said, there is a bit of a tutorial that you have to kind of just do as you go along. Um, it's a pretty cool game. I mean, pretty interesting game. So you have, this is our world. You kind of pan up down with a middle mouse button. You can rotate with Q and E or the uh, middle mouse button, of course. You have some trees over here. You have a, what is this going to be? You have mine and mine shaft, which we're not quite there yet. We can't make the materials. And then that's pretty much the edge of the map that we have. Basically, you have a bit of a... A hard wall you can't go over here this is obviously a lot bigger areas eventually that you could get into but we can't do that in the demo which is perfectly fine so we have to build six residentials and in here this is the abandoned train station which we can't we can actually we can repair this but we have no workers so first thing we gotta do is build some workers let's build some roads we have a road here let's connect our town up maybe something like this this game reminds me a little bit of factory town just the way that you need to provide things for your citizens. Oh, what happened there? Then we got another one. Can I do one more? Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So here's your basic housing. And your workers will have needs. I'm actually just going to turn the... Um, i got to click through all this for two seconds here. 
So you have operational info, not satisfied needs. There's no need satisfaction, zero money generating, zero, zero workers. So you have to have things that they're going to want. I'm actually just going to turn down the, uh, the uh, FX volume a little bit. It's a little bit loud for me. Okay. And there is no save in the game. You play it until you quit and then you just, you quit. <laughs> and it doesn't start over. So Marketplace is a thing. It's a service building fulfills the needs of residential buildings within its range. So, so this is exactly how like Factory Town works or Infraspace or a lot of these type games. So you hover over here. It shows you the blue parts of the road shows where this will go to. But you see all in the top of the corner there, it's, it's going down, down, down. So you want to put this close to where your where your residence is going to be and they're happy because their satisfaction level is going up because they want to have a marketplace and a marketplace provides basic service for your workers by supplying them with general goods but we have to keep expanding we have to get we had more milestones we have to start going see what they need now they want to have a service shop so service shops are right here a service shop basically it uh, is a maintenance type building and again it has the blue bar like the other ones do plant that down and these have upkeep uh, 11 coins per, I guess, per cycle, per day. This is nine upkeep. I, we have no modifications yet. I don't think that's actually in the demo. I haven't gotten to that part yet. Every building has upgrades to them to help out with it, with that, basically. And then you can pause the game down here. You can fast forward. You can hit this. Right down here, this is kind of like it's showing you what you got to do as well. And here's a little bit of admin window. We're not anywhere near. Like We don't need this type, this type of stuff yet. So if you hover over this, it tells you what it's doing, which is basically nothing at this point. It's working as a service building, and then this is as a service building, but a different type of service building. So this is a, they want a market, and they want a service shop. So we have two workers working there, and we have four workers working there. Satisfaction level is at 100%. And then this is generating 11 out of 11 money per day, I guess, per cycle. And then it has six of six workers. And each house has the same thing as of now. But the next thing we got to do is we have to start working on what it says up here in the top right is uh, a forester. We have to make logs, which we also then need to make planks. Because up here, we have a total of six. Can I click on that? We can. So right now, we have... Oh, we just have to click through all these things. Just telling you what they are. So right now, we have zero logs and we have six boards we're producing none and we're demanding none because we have nothing that demands it this is items well we don't own anything <laughs> so so the first thing we want to do is we want to get some lumbering going a warehouse we don't need yet let's start working on a mill and if you click on this it gives you two options you want a forester or do you want a mill well we want a forester a forester produces one log in 15 seconds a mill produces one plank in 15 seconds so basically this is a one-to-one -one. and you see here on above where it says fertility zero you want to have a place where fertility is at a hundred percent which is to be right about here and i rotate with r i rebound my key the normal rotate key is tab i don't like tab as a rotate i'm familiar with using r as rotate place a mill down and the next thing we do is connect it up with some roads here and then we need to put a warehouse because a warehouse will store these items but right now as you see it's not connected to anything so we need to actually connect this up which i guess i didn't lay them out my roads the nicest here oh, but uh, oh, we gotta keep going through all this if you click on a new building it tells you what all these things are and you just click through them so we do need a warehouse if you hover over same thing with the service station the warehouse will show you where it actually covers so we want to put our warehouse probably here that way it covers everything that we have so far but we also want to bring in logs because right now this is a one-to-one -one. we, we want to have a little bit more than a one-to-one -one. so you want to do another forester can i put another one right here maybe zero percent because that one's being occupied we could do another forester over here i think because we want to have logs coming in and then this can be oops, connected up hey, maybe like that would be fine now, is this warehouse in range of this? It is not, so we had to build another warehouse. And we... Refineries within range deliver their goods to warehouse for storage. Resources shared between warehouses. So, we actually can't... We can place it, but we can't build it because we don't have four planks. The planks will be made from here, of course. And so, there you go. Now, the next thing we need to do is... We have to keep following like the tutorial here. We want a cactus farm because we need to get cactus for water. Because right now... We have no water. They're not demanding it yet, but that's like the next step. And you also have decorations, by the way. I don't think this, I'm sure if this has to come into play later on. What it gives you, these are unavailable in the demo, of course. So this is foliage, 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 cactus, but it's just decorative and they cost money too. 
But this is how to decorate your town. You can put a bunch of cactus in here. Here's a big cactus. You can just put one here. You know, they don't they don't really require upkeep. I don't think any of them require upkeep. These are these are just locked. So we can't do anything. This, this here is countryside, a log with a banjo. This actually has upkeep, windmill. Like they're just upkeep type things. And then here are different walls to fence out stuff. Maybe maybe we'll get attacked later on. I really don't know how that works. But what we need next is a cactus farm. But the problem is we don't have enough workers. We need to build a few more houses. So what we'll do is we'll lay the houses out now. And we can actually lay them out like this. There you go. And then we'll connect a road up to these ones again. Might as well bring the road right around. There we go. Now, if you click on your warehouse, it connects everything. These are all blue. Everything is good to go here. It doesn't connect there, though. But the issue right now is we need planks because residential houses require planks. So I think what we got to do is you actually have to build another, um, another plank mill or another mill in, in general. Now, as far as I know, they don't have requirements as far as power or anything. It just requires these require workers to be efficient, and we don't have workers because we don't have lumber. So we can fast forward this a little bit. Here are our admin work, which we already checked on this. So right now, we're producing eight boards. We're not demanding any because we don't have anything that's using boards except construction. But here, as I said, we're producing eight logs and we're demanding eight because this, this is a one-to-one -one transfer. So what I actually want to do as well is I do want to get another forester up and running. It's going to be at 28%. We can put it back here, which I think would be okay. There we go. This warehouse should be connected to that. It is, which is good. So warehouses share um, things with each other. So that's a good thing. And as you see, our houses are being built. Our houses are being built. Like I said, warehouses, um, they share. Refiners within range deliver their goods to warehouses for storage. Resources are shared between warehouses. Now, as far as I know, they don't have to be within range of each other. They're just like, because it doesn't, there's nothing, it just says auto modification zero, simultaneous deliveries one. And right now, everybody's just carrying things, right? So, but it's fine. We're producing now. We have our lumber mill. This is pretty cool how, it, how it, like it actually, the graphic puts a log in, it chops, it goes in here. This one here takes a log in, I mean, by itself, and then it goes and it spits out. Oh, they're just grabbing the thing. It's cool how the graphics are. It's really cute. I like it. Because everything has moving parts. Even the warehouse here has a crane. Moving parts. This we can't obviously do yet. We're not, we're not, we don't have engineers. For one, we also have no train stations. So there's that. Okay, so you can build the cactus farm yet more residential. Do we need more people? I think we can build the cactus farm. Yes, we can. So cactus farm produces, I guess, one unit every 15 seconds, which is exactly what we need. Squeeze juice from cacti to make cactus water a rare and valuable resource because we need that and then our, our our people will eventually start wanting that. So our cactus farm, I guess we could probably put it here. As far as I know, there is no fertility. So you have the farm, right? But we have to actually put down fields. So you basically, you click on place fields and you can, right now you can put three fields down. Um, why only three? I don't know. I guess it's just maybe what the, the limit is. And there we go. And look at this. It's so, the graphics are, I love the graphics. Because it, it's chugging in watermelons or cactuses. It's smashing them down. And then it's just like juicing them up. And then this guy here is carrying. Can I click on him? No, I can't. Carrying this to the warehouse. Which is pretty cool, I think. Because if you click on admin and you go to this. So right now we're producing a lot of boards. We're not using any, which is good. We're producing more wood than we are actually a third more because we have that, that third one. And here we're consuming 1.2 cactus water and we're producing 3.6. So we have a good amount right now. And if you look here, our workers now have another need bar and that is going to be the cactus water. So that's how it kind of works out. And you have more workers there. Are they all, do they all level up? I guess they did. So basically now they're generating more money. They have more workers per building satisfaction is good so you have to satisfy their needs and i'm sure as the game goes on it'll be more and more complex what they need but right now it's pretty simple so far we need charcoal keep steam bots operational charcoal kiln is a must you can't build the kiln without yet build more residential or fulfill citizens needs so our population has to go up and we need more we're only three of five needs which is interesting because we have three. Where are the other five, though? Well, let's see what we have. Are decorations in need? I don't think so. Uh, no, that doesn't go to anything. That's just 
different stuff. Foliage. So what do we have to do? We can build more of these. We can build more of these. We can't. We just need more workers. So I'm not sure why it says three or five worker fulfill needs. We don't have five things yet, but we need more workers. That oh, we can slow this down a little bit. It doesn't have to go as fast as we're going. I don't think it's really harming anything. Is the train coming? No, because we don't have that. We don't have this set up yet. We need. Yeah, we need 120, and then we can start getting the train in there. So I think what we'll do is. We have the service stations and everything here. Let's build another little like housing district over here. I think that would be fine. And we'll put a bunch of houses in here. And we'll do a couple over here. They don't have to be exactly, you know, in line with each other. But we have to also put another marketplace in. We can actually put the marketplace probably here. And we're going to need another service station for these guys. We unlocked a new milestone. Which is awesome. So... Because we have enough workers now, we have 100. This is our. This is the next. Um, like, like this is the next goal we're going towards. Let's see, administration window. Right now, we are losing charcoal because you know why? Because people need charcoal and they also need train stations. So we don't have the train station built yet because. Oh, we actually have it now. We can repair this. Uh oh, here we go. Running again. We'll be able to ferry in supplies Ooh, much easier. Nice. Wait, what's that? Well, look here. Someone will. Oh, my, no. Not a... it's I'm just going to click all this stuff. Ma'am, that ain't no way to. I don't want to be a string. That's all. You can pause it if you want to read them. I suggest if you are playing the game, let them go through and read it because it's super cute. So, basically, what the train does is a train comes every so many minutes. And what you can do. Oh, we have to click through all this. So we don't have enough money or any of this. So basically, this is where you can buy things to boost your buildings. Production chance, production items, production bonus chance 15%. Recruit three bonus miners. But again, we have we have 6,000 cash. We don't have 15. And you need rubies. And I'm pretty sure you need to get that from mining. And then here is your trade. So right now, this shows what... Um, oh, come on. Come on. Basically, what we have to trade and what we can get like resources to buy. So if we're really lacking something, we can buy it. Now again, one charcoal will cost a thousand coins. Like that's or five wood. Obviously this would go that to that, you know. So you gotta really be careful what you're trading. And this would be this is a a continual trade every time uh it comes. So we're gonna hold off on that at the moment. What we need to do is we need to fulfill the charcoal uh, from the kiln now charcoal kiln again is a forester produces one per and this uses one every 30 seconds so basically one of these can handle two of these and the funny thing is we actually have an extra forester over here so if we buy one of these we'll actually be having still having a little bit of excess which is good now this has to be within range no it doesn't it has to be range of this we're gonna put it right here now the charcoal kiln is waiting for deliveries, so we still are making a fifth one every 15 second bonus, I guess. Right now the charcoal is not going up because we obviously they're not making any as of yet. We can speed this up a little bit. I think it's probably like a 2x speed. So I want to see them start working and making the lumber, and it's going to be coming from here. Again, if we were running and say, hey, are we at a deficit right now? No, we're not because we're producing 12 logs. We're using 10, remember, because a... A logger produces one per second or whatever. I don't know how you want to. I don't know what the. Well, one. I guess it'd be four per minute because it's producing one every 15 seconds. So it'd be four per minute. And we have um, three loggers. So it's 12 per minute. We're using 10 per minute because this is only using five per minute, which this is. Um, this isn't. Actually, this is not how this is set up. It's set up, the production change is a bit different. It's not saying this is using this. But you get what I'm getting at. We're, 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 we're still making more logs than we're using. Charcoal, we're still making more than we're using. Cactus, more than we're using. And then boards, we're not demanding anything. So we're basically just storing them. So that would be a good resource actually to sell. And then here we're down to tools. So we reached a milestone. So let's go back to where we were here. Because I think the train... No, it tells you it's still coming. Oh, here's like a little overview map. I don't think you can turn that away. Oh, you can click on different buildings that way. That's cool. Can we do this yet? No. Okay. So the next tier 
You unlocked a new, that's what the ding was earlier. We unlocked a new, let's slow this down. We unlocked a new citizen tier. The expertise of the engineers will enable your city to advance to the next level. Note the engineers have different needs. Ooh. You can upgrade residentials to the next tier if their satisfaction is 100%. Oh, okay. So they're 100%. So you can upgrade. How do I upgrade? Oh, here's how you do it. Oh, okay. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And then upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Is that enough? <laughs> so we have six engineers. So basically it's one. Oh, no, they're going up now. Oh, look at that. The engineer. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. This is the engineer house, all the little doodads. And this is the regular house. The workforce for engineers. Oh, the train's here. That's what this is. Or it's coming in 20 seconds. The workforce for engineers is oh, it's separate. So what do we need for engineers? We're going all over the place. Could be broken. Okay, we can't do this. I get it. I get it. I get it. We're not there yet. Okay. Engineers need what? Moonshine and they need a saloon. So that means we can build these buildings now. A moonshiner. And I should have put these all together because, oh my gosh. Whoa. What? Do they require all these things? Wow. Do we have enough to do this? How do we connect the train station, though? I don't understand. Wow. Okay, we're not we're not anywhere near that. So here's a train. Again, this doesn't do anything. This is just saying it's here and it continues on. So connect the mine shaft to the train station by road. Oh, just by road. Okay, that's easy enough. Because uh, it's like I thought we had to be connected by train. We should be able to do this repair now. <laughs> now we didn't do the moonshine yet, <clears throat> but I want to go into the mine. Now let's head to the mine. Press two. So we didn't do the moonshine yet. We're not there. Oh, item tools. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, we don't think available. This is where you can add tools again to give you a bonus. And this is a mine for one. Oh. All right. We made it. Awesome. We for our this is new for me because I haven't done the mining yet. The planet is becoming more. And will we find this tech? I'm just going to click through this stuff. <laughs> Never doubted. So down here, we're all oh, we're in the mine. So. We, we need gold nuggets to set up our operation. Click the chest by the mine shaft for you to get started. Where's the chest by the mine shaft? So I think there's bad things down here that can kill us. I'm guessing, like right over here. All right, instability of the planet is dangerous. If ignored, there'll be collapse. Oh, uh-oh. We can place pillars to stable it. Unstable as others are shown. Oh, shoot, okay. So we have to put a pillar here. To help shore it up otherwise i think we're fine because we haven't really done anything that's pretty cool the next thing minor oh wow there's like a total like a whole new thing underground that we have to deal with while the ups i oh, know is the upstairs still working yeah they're still working right they should be they should continue see if this goes up because we're not using any planks miners do all the digging let's set up their quarters now this is a mining quarter oh it's like a okay we can just do it along here i guess we get four of them. This room is too small to operate. A room is needed. Oh, I didn't realize it was a a real, like an actual size of the thing. Nine tiles. Okay, so can I dig things? Oh, I can't. Ma okay, I can't manually dig. Okay, so it needs to be nine tiles. We're at eight tiles. How's that? Recruit miners. Oh, correct. Because they're coming up and down the shaft, right? We should expand our operation. Mark those tiles with a dig tool to get some gold nuggets to... Uh, oh, I see how it works. Ah, okay, I got it. I got it. So this is not real. I thought this would be like a house, but it's like just a, a platform. Miners will dig through the market mark tile. The more miners you have, the faster they dig. You can get hit maximum of three miners can dig through a tile at the same time. Ah. Ooh, okay. Well, we can just dig a whole bunch of this out then. We have to be careful with shoring stuff up, though, right? Ooh, what is that? Uh, that looks bad. What is that? What the heck? So far, we don't have to shore anything up. Ooh. What is this? It wants us to dig this out? I mean, I'm just digging stuff I shouldn't be digging right now. Can I shift this? Yeah, okay. That's fine. It's all good. Let's make our mining quarters a little bit bigger. 
Oh wait, what? You can't do it? Why? What do we need? Oh, because there's actually a rubble there. Can we do it to shore it up at all? Yes. How do we clear the stuff that's on the ground? Ooh. I can't put one here because there's stuff on the ground. Hmm. There's like wires everywhere. What do these wires go to? That's gold. Okay. Do I need to stay down here? A vein, a scrap vein. Okay, well we have it. We're, we're, we're dug here though. Yeah, right? It's going here. Yeah, okay. They should all be going there now. Uh-oh. Oh no, 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 no. But I can't put anything here though. Oh, you can put it there. Okay. It's just so I understand. So the pillar basically has a 5x5 five five block for stability. Got it. Don't need one over here because it's just like a one by one shaft. Ah, okay, I understand. I got it. So we'll get to the edge of where we need to go. I thought we actually had more miners here some for some reason. We only have one miner. I mean, we have. We can't make it bigger so all the so all this junk is on the ground. Oh, this one's not connected. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. Do we need a pillar back here? Yeah. Oh, there's some scrap. Some nugs. Who was that? What is that? Oh, it's a chesty. Oh. Uh oh, what happened? To mine scrap, man, we will need to help other prospectors to head back up to the city. Oh, man. So, that's. We need a. Oh, this is super cool, man. Oh, now they're cleaning all the rubble up. Good. Oh, this is super cool, man. I love this. It's super fun. Awesome. So we got to head back up to the surface. So the way we head up to the surface would be to what? Oh, you click this. Back to the city. So yes, things are producing. Or pro pro producing? Progressing. So the monitor's going to keep working. And then we're going to keep... Okay, cool. Awesome. But you know what, guys? What we're going to do is we're actually going to... Now we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on. We're having fun. We're having fun here. So, recruit miners. Hint, we need some extra tools which can be found in the mine. Okay, train to rise. Fine, fine, fine. We get uh, upgrading one workers and engineer. Okay, more workers and engineers. Are these guys happy, though? They're not happy. But we can still make engineers. Um, <clears throat> that should be enough engineers. Uh-oh, I broke something. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Okay, they need a lot more stuff. Shoot, I should have made it too many. Can I undo that? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's click on it. Yeah, we're going, I think we're going a little bit too hard here. Right now, we have no moonshine. Uh, we're not producing glass, sand. Okay, so we need to start getting some of that going, too. Wow. There's a lot to do. To make, we have a saloon made already. There's one. Oh, we don't have a saloon. Do we? Do we have a saloon yet? Server shop. Oh, do we not put a saloon in? Wait a minute. We don't have a saloon. What the heck? Put a saloon here. Put a saloon here. There we go. So that should help these guys a little bit. Yeah. So the thing we don't have is, is moonshine, which is actually fine. It's not a big deal. This should tick over any second here. So we have to get the sand area up and running here, I guess. So we can kind of do something like this. Might as well just connect all this. So we have to get the moonshine going, which means we need to have a cactus farm, which we have. We need to have a sand sifting factory and then the glass blower. So we could put this right here. Does it matter where we put this? I don't think so. Oh, you don't want it to be... Oh, I, why is it showing red there? Maybe I'll put it down here. I think it was just showing you can't put a road there, maybe. Oh, that was weird. Okay, it doesn't matter. This, we're going to go into Moonshine, and we're going to go into... So, sand is basically one every 15 seconds, and glass needs one every 30 seconds. So, 
Uh, do we have a front to this building? There we go. And we should actually be able to put two of these in. Is it just because we don't have no money? Oh, we have no boards. Interesting. Then we can put the moonshiner in here. Which is fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a warehouse down here. There we go. So we basically need what? We need more boards. Wow, of all things, we need boards. We had a we had a deficit of boards right now. I'm not sure why this is a... Oh, it's, this is what's used most. So right now, we're producing... It's like we're not really demanding anything other than for construction. This is good. This is good. Good, 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 good. This is the only one that we're bad on Moonshine. But we're still... We're working on it. All right, we have to get it built. Let's go to the next speed here. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here, guys. Make the glass blower is going to be next. Ten boards. We have six boards, and this needs eight boards. So we're doing okay. Doing okay here. We could probably put in another um, lumber camp, really. 15%. Can I do... Is there any that I can get 100% out of? Here I can. And then let's do another mill. I can actually put two mills in, remember? Uh, we're going to put this one there. Well, maybe not two mills. I will put two mills in. It's fine. There we go. And I can put another logger in maybe over here. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, cool. We should be... Oh, we have the glass blower up and running. And we have the glass... Oh, these are two glass blowers, right? Because one every 30 seconds. We're pumping out. Fertility's at only 64%. I think it's because I put this here. Uh, I don't know if this is interfering, interfering with this or not. It could be... How is it not connected to a warehouse? Oh, wow. The Okay. I think that's why. The warehouse is too far away. Okay. What is the problem here? Oh, we have no workers because we have too many engineers. Right, right, right. So we have to do some residential houses next. Which this should be perfectly fine. Once we get the boards, of course. Alrighty. Extra tools. Which can be found in the... Ooh, okay. Tools. So we need another miner. Uh, upgrading engine workers and engineers. Uh, you got no root, no new road type. It will make warehouses and service buildings reach further. Oh, that uses tools. Ooh, we don't have tools, do we? Or we did. I just literally just used them all. <laughs> the size of the quarter department, so we use all. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, we use all of them. Let's just check our needs of everybody. How are we doing here? Uh, we Now we need surveyor's office. Jeez Louise. Where's that at? Toolmaker. So we need a scrap found in the mine. Toolmaker. We need a survey office, which can be made by... Okay. Can this go here? It can, kind of. Probably would be better to put it up here somewhere. So this is a bit of a janky road setup, but... This should be okay. Alright, so then what we need to do is we need to go... We gotta get a tool maker going. We can just... Oh, we, can, we have to find... We, oh, we have to get the scrap. So, what we can do is... Let's go... We need one. We need another miner. So, let's go down here. How are we doing on... Right, they shouldn't be doing anything yet. So, we need to build prospect... We need miner's quarters. This is gonna be all miner's quarters, I think. Perfect. Then we want a prospector's quarters. What do they need here? Prospector's quarters can be over here. Oh, they only need a... Wait, what? What do we need? Nine. What's the problem, though? Oh, we need the gold nugs. We need the nuggets. That's why. We need to get some gold here. That's sandstone. We have gold nuggets over here. I'm assuming we're going to need sandstone at some point. That's bedrock. You can't dig bedrock. I can build it all of this, though. Oh, I can't dig this. The sandstone. Okay. So I can't get to that one, then. Oh, I can get to this one, though. Brittle dirt. I can get to that, I think. All right, do we need to shore it up down here at all? Uh, looks okay. We got to get more prospector quarters going. 
That should be enough. Now we gotta make the tool maker. So we're prospecting a little bit here. We need this prospector to do what? They're place your prospector to rest and supply the larger the quarter more spectrum. Ah resource and shrooms. That's cool. Do we have anything to do to this? No, we can't. Okay, cool. So we gotta make so we're doing okay here. Uh, do we actually harvest the scrap or is the pro the I think that we have to dig an area to get to the scrap I think that's kind of the gist of it a little bit You can literally just dig all this out. Why not right? As long as it doesn't cave in on us. Whoops but I can like preliminarily put supports in here just planning that is gonna cave in at some point I think this is okay because you don't really need it here. You do need to dig this out. I think we're okay so far. We don't have bridges or anything, so let's go top side. And we need to make a tool. What is this one? I did do paved road. We need to make a tool maker. So we need to make a scrap. I don't know how this works though. Oh, it just says use a scrap. Use a tool maker. Can we put. Where can that be put? It can be put anywhere, I guess. Uh, maybe here and then another one up here So that's pretty good. Oh cool. So the scraps come up. I got it build a pickaxe maker. So do we select which ones we're gonna um, Do you select what type it's called? I don't think so, right? Pickaxes you need to upgrade our digging tools and making the pickaxe maker in the city first Pickaxes will allow us to start hunting for old tech. Oh, okay. So, how do we build a pickaxe maker? Oh, <laughs> duh. We need more engineers. So, you got to keep upgrading. We also have to not upgrade because right now we have a deficit of minus 20 regular workers, and that's not a good thing. So, let's pop some more houses down. I uh, can't really put them there. I guess we can build some more over here. That's fine, I think. Connect these up with roads. There we go, and then do we have enough? All right, we have enough space for all of these. Almost, almost enough. We don't need the saloon for them though. So yeah, I think it would be probably be better off as we go along in the game. Like a new game would be have your engineer area, you have this area, you have this area, and that's like your level or skill levels of, of worker, I guess. So the next thing we have to do is to make a pickaxe maker, which we need more engineers. So let's see who can upgrade to an engineer. One, two, three, four. Is that going to give us enough? Because an engineer gives us... Do one more, I guess. See if that's enough. Oh, I think we did. Oh, wow. There's so many things. Your pickaxe maker. We have this, and we have this, and pickaxe maker. We can put that literally anywhere, I think. We're really getting tight on space here, guys. But that's okay. Alrighty. In the population section. Above, you can see the citizen balance. and negative. Oh, see, we need more regular citizens. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the issue. We need more regular citizens, which we can get that built right now. One, two, four, and then I did that a bit backwards, but that's okay, I think. I don't think it matters, really. That's fine. Because this just all connects. Yeah, it connects everything. Good. Cool. So let's go down into the mine, see if anything needs to be shored up at all. I think we're probably okay. Prospector's doing good. Ooh, facilities, workshop, heck yes. Scrap X. Wait a minute, where do we put this? There's no room resources to. Where do we put this? I don't understand which way we put this thing. This isn't workshop to. Oh, I need. To, oh, I need to make a workshop. I think that's the issue. I don't have a workshop. They probably want it to be. Wait, what? I can make it nine by three by three, right? Oh, I didn't have enough things. That's what. Ooh, I can make this now, the scrap excavator. Where do I put it, though? Tools. And, oh, we don't have any tools in it. Exact iron, iron them, vein. Find the first place of old tech. Place scrap exp Oh, I see. I see. We have to find it. Got it, got it, got it. Dig tool. So where is the iron, then? Is it this? That's tools. I don't think that's exactly where we need to go. I'm gonna sure it up here a little bit. What's that? That's a bridge? Okay. So we need a bridge over to here, I think. Right? Yeah. 
Brittle bedrock. We can go over this way. We gotta make a bridge, I think. We have no sheet metal, so we're not anywhere near that yet. Workshop. We have the workshop made already. I don't know where to put this. It says to put the extractors can harvest resources must factor, but extract the iron. But I don't know where that is, though. Oh, is it here? No. Where is... I don't understand where to put this. I thought it would tell me where to put it, honestly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It says... Oh. Okay. I'm stupid then. Never mind. <laughs> All right, cool. Next one is quarters. Now we can make mechanics. Oh, my God. There's so many things we can do down here. Mechanic quarters, and they need what? They need the tools, which we're hardly making any tools, by the way. Make one more. Come on. Because you need to have at least a three by... Or a two by... A three by three. Nine tiles. We need more tools, I guess. One tool per... Hint, the size of the quarters determines how many mechanics. Yeah, I understand how it works, but you need to have at least a 3x3. Three three. <clears throat> this is... <clears throat> oh, we don't have the mechanics. That's the problem. We need one more um, tool here because it's too small. We need to have, I think, a 3x3 three three, like the other ones. There we go. Where's our mechanic at? Where is it? Where is he? Is it over here? Oh, here it is. This is the mechanic right here. No, this is the mechanic right here. That's the mechanic. Come on. Hook that up. Being constructed also. I want to see what this... Oh, it tells you right here. And here we go. Oh my god, look how fast that is. Infrastructure. How are we doing infrastructure? Pillar bridge. Where does it want us to bridge at? Uh, oh, we don't have any sheet metal though. So we can't... We can't do it because we don't have any sheet metal. Fern, the first extract iron in vein. Is that what this is? Gold. Where's the iron vein at? I don't think we can do that quite yet. Maybe we can dig out some of this stuff. Bedrock you can't dig out, of course. We can put a little pillar here, just in case. Discover a scrap vein. Okay, well, yeah, that's what we're doing right now, right? Okay, cool. We're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there here. Workshop. Pick a scrap excavator. Oh, I see how it works. We don't have enough. What are we actually missing? Oh, oh, I see. You need to make the workshop bigger. Got it. No, we need to make the workshop. Workshop bigger? Workshop bigger. Mechanic quarters, prospector quarter. This is the miner's quarter. We have to make the what bigger? The workshop. Oh, the workshop is, is um. Wait, what's the workshop? Prospectors. Oh, this is the workshop. Okay. So it's going to be a little tricky to do that, I think. Uh, I wanted to do that a little bit backwards, but that's okay. Oh, we, now we can do two, one of two or three. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, cool. Do we have another scrap vein somewhere? I thought we had another one. No, that's okay. Oh, we can make open a chest up. What do you give? Oh, give us a hat. Recruit bonus. Ooh, okay. Where do we put that then? Boom. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Put another one here. Oh, there's nothing available. We can do. Can I do three? I think it's just a bonus to that. Can I do another one here? Okay, no, it's just showing that there was a bonus. All right, so we have to do this, though, which is the problem, I think. So I don't know where that actually is. Assuming it's over here somewhere. How's infrastructure? Are we set up down here? Are we going to collapse? No, I think we're doing okay. Is that where to work? Let's go back top side. Because the issue now is we need to make a scrap sheet metal factory. Which we can go there. Your The number below is your income. Money is earned from your residentials. So I don't know what the problem is. We have, we have money. I don't know what the problem is. Find the first piece of old tech. I think that's the biggest thing we have to get to next. So sheet metal factory, spare parts maker. So we can't do this. So sheet metal factory should be up and running. 
Waiting for resources. Okay, cool. We can go back down, I think. This is awesome, man. Imagine how, like, I think you can go down a bunch of, I think there's a few different levels in the, of the mine. We're just not, yeah, okay, level 2, level 3, level 4. We're just not there yet. Oh, very cool, very cool, very cool, man. This is so fun. Oh, there's so many chests here. I'm not even paying. Oh, there's rubies. Ooh, our first rubies. All right, we need to get over here somewhere, I think. We can't get that yet. Can we make a bridge yet? We cannot. Okay. Wow, there's so many things to make. These we can't do, so I think we're getting somewhat to the end of the demo. Oh, there's another chest. There's so many chests down here. What the heck? All right. We got some cash. Cash money. Yeah, I don't really know where the... It can't go that way. We can only dig out so much here, right? Might as well just dig all of it out, right? I mean, why not? We have to find the iron, which I don't really know where that is, because we can only dig so much here. Yeah, like, the, the, the game is only going to let us dig so much in the demo phase. So, we have to get... Can we do a bridge yet? You know, any sheet metal. What's the problem for the sheet metal? Are we having a problem here? Oh, we're digging this out like crazy now, man. Gotta sure all this up. Yeah, now we're cooking. I'm just gonna start shoring things up, just random spots that I think we might have a problem with. Because it costs very little to do that. This is the edge. Oh, they cool they put little lights along the edges. That's so cool. Huh. Can we do a bridge yet? We can't. Why we don't why don't we have any sheet metal? What's the problem here? Oh, we need more engineers? Are you serious right now? Is that the problem? Um There we go. This one is what's wrong with this one? Oh, there's no marketplace. What? Seriously? Fix that. All right. Do we have enough engineers now? We're at a deficit of two. We should be... Okay, we're at zero now. Okay, we are making it... We have enough. Where is the metal coming in? Oh, the issue is we don't have any ar aronium. We... Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not going to collapse. We're not collapsing down here. Oh, jeez. So the issue is we still have to find... Oh. What is collapsing down here? So we gotta find the iron, but I don't know where the iron is. Am I just blind here or something? I think I'm missing something here, very obvious. I guess keep that's a scrap vein. I keep well, where is the iron at? I don't understand. At least it alerts you when it's going to collapse. I think we have to get to this key somehow, but we can't get over that way. Oh, here it is. Got it, man. We found it. We found it. We found the iron vein. I knew it was here somewhere. Well, I mean, I didn't actually know it was here somewhere. <laughs> Let's get the iron vein. Yes. Find that old piece. So the old tech means what? We have to find the old tech. So these we can't do the demo. I think we're getting... Got the vein. Okay. Do we got to go across a bridge somewhere then? I have a feeling it's going to be behind this. So I think we have to bridge over to here somewhere. So can we bridge yet? We still don't have any sheet metal. I don't understand what the problem with that is. Why we're lacking sheet metal so much? I don't really understand. Honestly. We need to kind of go where the door is. We're running out of spaces to mine, though. Okay, this is all bedrock down here. Will it allow us to dig that out? I don't know. You can't get across. There's another scrap vein. Can I do a another... Where is it under? A scrap extractor? I can. So we got to find the old tech. Okay, not a problem. Yeah, we're just mining like crazy now. This is what we need to do. 
We need to get a bridge. We still. I don't understand why don't we have any sheet metal still. What is the problem? Oh my god, we got our first piece of freaking sheet metal. Where is it though? We got one piece. Two low prospectors to handle the task. Two low prospectors. What? What does that mean? Do we need more prospectors? How's that? That should help. <laughs> right? That should help. So we have to build. We I know we have to build a bridge somewhere. I just don't know where the bridge is supposed to go. Uh, we have a bridge here, and uh, so I'm trying to figure out where to build the bridge at. I'm assuming right here, I and mean, that's the obvious spot to build the bridge, uh, or over here somewhere, which we don't have. Oh, we do have two. Oh, we need three. Is there a spot where we could have done two? Uh oh, if something's collapsing. Here, we have a problem here. And then, uh, is that everything? Or are we okay? I think we're okay. We can get over here now, which is awesome. This is a big chest. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, production chance. That's cool. Okay. So can we put that in one of these things? No, okay. No, oh, okay. But we can go over here, though, and start mining all this stuff out. Well, as much of it as we can. But I guess is isn't very much. Yeah, I think we actually have to get over here to unlock this uh, thing here. And we can build... Oh, we have... Um, perfect. We can build bridges here now. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, uh-oh. Here we go. It's going to explode. I bet we're going to get the old tech. Oh, heck yeah. Give me this. Wait for miners. Oh, so this is all along. This is what we have. This is our goal. What we have to do is find the old tech. Ah. Where are our mining quarters? Is here. We can make this literally a lot bigger. We have a lot more miners. They're just going to jump into the fray. Here they go. Go nuts. So that's the objective. I get it. Because then there's different levels of the mine too, right? Find the iron you need. And then we're going to dig this up. We should have more miners coming in. Oh, look. They're actually... Sh oh, look. See what they're doing? They're shoring up the wall. That's so cool. We should actually do that over here too. Where everything collapses on us. That would be bad. News bears. So, I mean, I guess you could do the these in a bit better grid pattern, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. Eventually, I'm sure you'll... Maybe you won't be able to dig the bedrock. I mean, I guess it wouldn't make sense if you could dig bedrock. Because you're not supposed to be able to dig bedrock, like, you know, in real life. So, we'll see, I guess. Alright, we're almost done. Top side, we're doing alright. We have... I'm not sure what these stars are. Oh, I think we're, our, our storage is full. Here we go. Let's see what the old text is going to be. All right, three, two, one, and... Oh, I see what it is. Now, hold it up to the city and let us prepare for its installation. Defer Ain't no telling what'll happen when we start moving that uh -oh. thing. Uh-oh. When it shakes, they hear it. <laughs> you have who hears what? what, what? Uh-oh. I'm not sure what that old Rasbot is talking about. New arrivals. <gasps> New arrivals. Escape what? Escape. Six parts. Maintenance overdue. What is this? Locate remaining parts. Combine. <sighs> what in tarnation's going uh -oh. on? The old signal speaks. Oh no. You sure she'll be okay? Your daughter is fine. She will need some time <laughs> to recharge. Oh. What now is that we know what we so that's what we, we need to do. Five pieces of the vessel and put it together. So ah. I remember that voice. So that's what we have to do. We, oh, look at that. This is like the space station or whatever it's called. Oh, this is so fun. So the objective of this game is to build up and build up and build up to find pieces of this old tech to build a spaceship, essentially, to escape. And apparently there's bad guys, according to this. Thank you for playing. We hope you enjoyed the SteamWorld build demo. Full game will launch on PC on consoles later 2023. See up to date uh, on social media. Oh, this was super fun, guys. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, please wish this, this on Steam. I really hope to be able to get a key for this so I can play the full version for you guys. I definitely will make a big time series out of this. Oh man, this is so fun. I can't, I can't wait to play the full game because I mean, we played about an hour and I mean, I could have optimized things quite a bit better, like an hour in total. This is over two episodes, of course, um, and now, um, or three episodes and yeah, wow, we could optimize things and we could get, so I mean, it took us that long to get to find one thing. 
So imagine what it's going to take to get to find all five. Because there are different levels of mining. I think there's two basement levels and like... Oh, it'll be so fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the game. And if you're enjoying the channel, as well as this little series I put together, please hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out. And I'll catch you guys hopefully soon with another Steam World Build gameplay video. Take care now.